Hey y'all, it's your girl Salute Marie and welcome back to my channel. Before we get into this video today, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Okay y'all, so I'm back with another story time today from Natati. I already know what your girl is about to talk about. So let's get into this video today. So this story time take back place when I was with in a relationship with Jody or whatever y'all. And around that time y'all, it was after, um, like I said, and I am going to get back in the series of Jody or whatever, bitch. This was after, um... <coughs> I had my second daughter or whatever and I wasn't working at the time because I had like he told me to stop working or whatever don't ever do that always keep your job and he told me to stop working or whatever you know what I'm saying because I was pregnant and he was like he could take care of the bills by himself so I stopped working or whatever and it, was, it wasn't that I stopped working I actually got fired that's a whole nother story time and after I had a baby or whatever, I was looking for work because I, it was to the point, y'all, after I had my baby, it was just like, I needed like little necessities. Like I needed like to get my hair done. I needed to buy my own weed. I needed to just get stuff for myself. And it was to the point where Jody, like he kept complaining about stuff that he, he, he had to get me, you know what I'm saying? But you were the one that told me that I didn't need a job, you know what I'm saying, and that you was going to pay for it, you know what I'm saying? And he was the type of person that he liked when uh when somebody have to depend on him for something. He liked when somebody need him for something. And I always been a type where I have all my own everything, so I don't need a nigga for anything. And that's why I'm so hard on that to this day. I mean, I kind of been like that, but it's just like now it's no in between. Like I'm always going to have my own everything because I'm never going to have to depend on no man for any fucking thing just because of the situation with this nigga because he will make you want to be like want to crash out. Like nigga, you the one that told me that I didn't need a job and that you would pay for anything, everything. So it was to the point where like he would always complain like, oh, you smoking all the weed and you need to buy your own weed. Oh, you can't do that, huh? Like just be like talking down to me, talking shit to me or whatever. And I got sick of that shit. I was like, yeah, I'm about to find me a job. Like, it's no way I'm about to keep depending on you for every fucking thing. He's like, yeah, do that. Find you a job because I'm not about to be buying everything. Every every chance I turn around, you need your hair done. You need this. You need that. You need that. You need that. Like, he would be just complaining, like, trying down talk me or whatever. So, around this time, y'all, I had applied for, like, two, three jobs. It was a mad job that I applied to or whatever. So, I ended up getting, like, a request back from these two jobs, y'all. So, the first job was like a plant job. You know what I'm saying? Like a warehouse. I love warehouses, okay? I love them, okay? Period. And um, it was that job, okay? And then it was another job. But I felt like I didn't know what the fuck I was applying for. But it was like for insurance, right? But it, but it, the, 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 I was just looking at the money aspect. I wasn't looking at all the, the conditions and all the things that I would have to go through in order to keep this job, to have this job, right? So I ended up like getting an email from a lady or whatever. We just gonna call her Dots, Miss Dot. I get, got, I got an email from Miss Dots or whatever, and she was just like, hey, you know, and I don't never say my last name, y'all, but if y'all follow me, y'all end up finding out anyway. So I'm just saying, because I don't give a fuck. But she was like, hey, Miss Sellers, you know what I'm saying? Um, I seen your, 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 your application, and we want to get you in to do orientation, you know what I'm saying? Basically saying, like, she want to do an interview with me, whatever. So I ended up going to the interview or whatever, y'all. I'm telling Jody, like, hey, I got an interview today. He would never tell me, you know, good luck. Like, I hope you get it. You know what I'm saying? He would always down talk me and say, like, stuff like, oh, well. Like, he would just belittle me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to get into that in a minute. You know what I'm saying? But he would never, like, hype me up or nothing. Be like, hey, I wish you well today. I hope you get the job. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going into it negative always because he always made me feel like anything that I wanted, I was never going to get it. You know what I'm saying? So I went there, whatever. We talking. The lady, Miss Dot, she cool as hell. She asked me all these questions, y'all. And we almost to the end, of, the end of the interview or whatever. And she was just like, hey, so I'm going to go ahead. Um, We're going to have go ahead and let you go ahead and take the drug test. Drug test? Girl, you ain't said nothing about no drug test in the email. You ain't said nothing, no drug test about the drug test over the phone because I had talked to her before I got there. She ain't said no drug test uh, when I first started this interview. Y'all, I'm so unprepared. 
I didn't know she was going to try to drug test me on the spot. So I'm like, drug test? Like, she could tell in my body language, my whole body language changed. Like, I went from confidence to down here. Because I was like, yeah, I'm about to fail. Like, y'all, I smoked before I got there. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to fail. So she was just like, yeah, you could go ahead and go to the bathroom or whatever, pee in this cup. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to test you right here. If you pass, you got the job. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you should get the job. You know what I'm saying? I like your attitude. I like everything about you. Your application, I mean, your um, your application, your resume, it all pulls through. Because I have warehouse experience, y'all. Period. Like, I always work in a warehouse. So I was like, fuck. I was like, oh, my God. I'm about to fail. So... I go in the bathroom, y'all. I wasn't able to have my phone or nothing. I go in there. I'm peeing in the cup. I'm just like, fuck. It's over with. Peed in the cup. I give it to her. I'm just like, damn. Here you go. She was like, okay. Thanks, Miss Sellers. Give me like five minutes. And I'll be right back. Just happy as hell. So I'm just like, fuck. I know I failed. So she come back. She was like, unfortunately, you know, Miss Sellers, like, you did um fail the drug test. It came back with um THC. I mean, your urine, but, you know, um, we're not going to worry about that. What? Er, we don't have to worry about that. So I'm just like, well, I'm not saying that because I'm so startled. She was like, yeah, like, you feel, but we need people. And as uh, long as you don't come in here smelling like weed, we good. I said, so we good? Like, I got the job? Like, she like, yeah, like. You got the job. Like, I don't give a fuck that you fell. Basically, that's what she said. She don't give a fuck. Then I failed the drug test. She still gave me the fucking job. So I'm like, cool. So she was just like, yeah, your orientation date will be this day. And you will have to start on this day and that is. So I'm looking at the orientation date. And I'm just like, damn. Mind you, y'all had two jobs lined up. So I'm just like, damn. I was like, okay, well, I'll be here. Thank you so much, y'all. So after that, I'm calling um Jody or whatever to tell him. He's not excited for me at all. I didn't say congratulations, nothing. I'm telling him the whole situation about the P thing. He's like, damn, that's crazy. He still gave me the job. I'm like, yeah. And I was like, the only issue is my orientation is the same day as my other, you know, because I already started doing a little job with the um insurance people or whatever. And they had classes that we had to go to. Like, you literally had to go to classes. Then you had to pay to take a state board test to be, like, a licensed insurance person. And I didn't know I had to do all that shit. I was just looking at the money. Like, I, I was just looking at every little thing. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, it's on the same day. Like, and I really want to go to that because that that's way more money. An hour, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't even really an hour, y'all. It was based off of commission. And y'all know how the fuck that go. So, I'm just like... I don't know what I should do, y'all. So, before that day, you know what I'm saying, I'm going through the little courses and shit with the, um, with the insurance people. And I'm just like, I don't know if I really want to do this or not, but I, I don't want to miss out on an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? So, I ended up saying, like, okay, well, I'm going to go to orientation and see what it's like and then see. Because I had to be at the um, insurance place at a certain time, but I was just like, I need to, I'm going to have to figure out a way to do both. So I'm in there, y'all. I go to orientation, you know what I'm saying? I have on all the PPPs that I need. That's protective, you know, shit that you need. Like your boots, your gloves, everything. And they showing us around the plant or whatever. It was a nice plant. Then they ended up bringing us in the room, giving us water, and letting us sit down and watch, you know, you know the videos and stuff. Everything that we're going to need. And I'm, I'm every so often, I'm just looking at my phone, looking at the damn thing, looking at the time, looking at what time I need to be there. And I think I had needed to be there around like 11 or 12, we all, whatever. And orientation was all day. It's like a shift at work. So I was going to get paid the whole eight hours or 10 hours, however long that shift was, to be there. You know what I'm saying? So at one point, I was just like, fuck it. I'm about to go to the other job. So I made up a super ass excuse, y'all. And I ended up leaving. And I was just like, you know, so it was an emergency happened with my kids. I have to go. You don't ever do no shit like that. Y'all know when you're in orientation, if you even in the thir first 30, 30 to 90 days at a job, you don't supposed to leave. You don't supposed to go nowhere. You're supposed to stay your ass there until it's time to clock out. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, fuck that. I'm about to go to the other job or whatever. I go to the other job, y'all. And they doing like an orientation too. And they just telling us everything we need at that point. I kind of skipped ahead, y'all. At that point, they start telling us, like, all the shit that we're going to need. You got to go through courses, all this and all that. And I was like, 
damn, I should have just stayed where I was at. But at that point, it was too late. Like, I had to keep on with the lie or whatever. So, I was just like, damn, I'm a, I have to commit to this because I know, like, they, the lady didn't gave me the job and I failed my drug test. There's no way she's going to let me come back there after I just irked in the middle of orientation. Like, they not about to go, go with that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So... After that, y'all, I was just in there writing down notes. And I'm like, damn, you got to do a lot of shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? And anybody that does insurance or whatever, props to y'all. Because it's a lot of stuff you have to do. They have to build you up to be able to even go approach people. You have to know what the hell you're talking about if you're trying to sell insurance. And I'm not the type, I'm not a people person. I don't know how to sell nobody shit. I can sell you a dream, but I can't sell you no fucking insurance. So I'm just in there. I'm just like, damn, this shit is going to be hard. You know what I'm saying? I'm texting Jody, like, telling him everything. He's like, yo, dumbass, shit not have left. That's how he would really talk to me, y'all. He's like, yo, dumbass, shit not have left. Now, like, look at you now. Like, now you in some other shit that you don't want to do for real. And now what you going to do? So after that day, y'all, I was just like, damn, like, I'm about to try to reach back out to Miss Dots to see if she'll let me come back, y'all. This lady... She wrote an email. She was like, you know, unfortunately, Miss Sellers, like, since you left, like, you're terminated. Like, we don't need your, we don't need you. Thank you for your services, basically. And I was like, damn. I was like, and I wrote her back. I was like, I, hey, I had an um, emergency with my family, with my daughter or whatever. There's no way you can give me, like, a second chance. I can go through another orientation. Ignored. She never responded back to me. I never heard from that lady again. You know what I'm saying? Because And I understand because she really put her job on the line. She let me fail a drug test and still gave me the fucking job. And bitch, you still going to leave? That still ain't good enough for you all? So I'm just like, okay, I had to understand that. I was like, okay, whatever. So now I have to stick to what the fuck I put myself in originally in and have to go through with this insurance shit. So, y'all, I'm dead day after day after day. I did, I've been writing notes since the day I fucking skipped orientation at the other job. I'm still lost. I don't know what the fuck is going on, y'all. If y'all watch my story time on how I failed my driver's test multiple times or how I failed my ASVAB, y'all, I suck at tests. I'm not good at it. I don't know what the fuck is giving. I don't know. I can't pass a fucking test. I don't know what it is. Like, if it's like a regular test in school that we just studied for and we went over, I'm going to pass it. But if it's like a big-ass test and it's multiple things, y'all, I have a one-track mind. I'm not going to So, they like, you know, girl, like, you have to take a test before you get certified. You have to put in a certain amount of hours, all this and all that. And I will have to dress up business casual every day that I go there or whatever. So, I took mad notes, you know what I'm saying? It was the day of the test. I go to the testing, y'all. I had to pay for the test. You know what I'm saying? I think the test was like a hundred and something dollars. You know, every time you, you go, you got to pay. So, I went and took the test, y'all. Lo and behold failed the test by mad questions too like i ain't just failed by five or six i failed by mad questions so they were just like cool like it sometimes it takes two or three times for our people to get you know the test correct y'all long story short i failed that test like three times and i told y'all money not money in you know what i'm saying i gotta go through jody to get money and every time i was gonna like tell him like hey it's the day i'm gonna take the test he always be like, you ain't going to pass that fucking test. You think you're going to pass? You ain't going to pass that test. Like, y'all just downing me the whole time. So, in my mind, my nigga already think I'm going to fail. So, I fail. You know what I'm saying? So, I fail the test each time. So, I'm just like, damn, like, what am I going to do? They like, well, you know, like, you can keep coming, you know, every day. You know what I'm saying? Until you really get it. You know what I'm saying? And then... Whenever you feel comfortable, just take it on your time. You know what I'm saying? They was willing to work with me, but y'all got to realize, I'm not making no fucking money. I'm supposed to be out in the field by now. I'm not making no money. I'm not getting no experience actually going up to people trying to sell insurance. Y'all know people that sell insurance, they make a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Once you really put that time in and you really study it, you know what I'm saying? You really make a lot of money selling insurance, y'all. And I could not pass the motherfucking test. Like, at all, y'all. And I ain't have no support system at all. Like, my baby daddy, Jody, he always made me feel like I couldn't do shit. Like, he always, like, downplayed me on everything that I did, y'all. He never uplifted me and never made me feel good about shit so every time i and i don't even know why i kept telling him like that this is the day i should have just kept this shit to myself and went ahead and passed it and went ahead about my day you know what i'm saying because it seemed like when i didn't tell jody things shit will go well for me but when i would tell him he would always try to play me like oh you're not passing that shit 
uh, you slow as hell. You ain't gonna be able to do this. You ain't gonna be able to do that. And the way the cookie crumbled, y'all, I failed to test each time. And I, and I studied. And I was there. I was there. I was there. I was there. And I was there. And it was another thing, y'all. Every time I would have to be there on certain days where I had to have my kids. And they was just like, you know, this is a part of the time you tried to put in. I was just thinking like, damn, I should have never walked out of orientation that day. And it was point in time where y'all... After that lady already sent me that email, I even tried to write her again, y'all. She act like she didn't even know me. Never responded back to your girl. So I missed out on two job opportunities. One I had in my hand. The other one, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. You know what I'm saying? And I had to stand on it, y'all. And I ended up losing two job opportunities. Just wasting time. It li I literally wasted like two months doing that shit. Still no pay. Still depending on the next nigga. Okay? So the moral of this story is, y'all, keep you a job no matter how much money your nigga make. Make sure you always have your own so you don't have to depend on nobody if shit go left, you know what I'm saying? And make sure you're your own builder-upper, okay? You don't, you you shouldn't be looking for, for anything from somebody else because they're not going to give you that, you know what I'm saying? Figure it out, okay? And stick to your guns. If you know you have something good, just, just. Just go with it. You think with your first mind, y'all. Damn. That's why I tell y'all these story times. Y'all don't have to go through it. Because if I would have just, if I had the mind that I had back then, y'all, I wouldn't be in half the situations that I was in. But it's a blessing and a curse because at the end of the day, I learned from them situations. Now I can tell y'all my situations that I've been through. And hopefully, you know what I'm saying, with y'all, you know, new Gen Z's. And the way the world's set up, y'all, it's so easy to even get money now. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is sell a little feet pit on OnlyFans. You know what I'm saying? Show a little tit here and there. Let me stop playing. <laughs> but the moral of the story is, y'all, social media is really selling right now. Okay, y'all? But, yeah, y'all. And and that's how people really make their money. But if you really want to get, like, a 9 to 5, y'all, just, just do what you got to do. Stick it out. Don't be trying to leave and shit making up stories, y'all. Because I really could have just had a good job. And I could have just stayed there. You know what I'm saying? But... If I would have stayed there, ain't no telling what I'd be today. So, thank God, I guess I did miss out on an opportunity because I have a better job, better better life, you know what I'm saying? And I'm happy. So, yeah, y'all, that is a wrap for this story time today. If y'all like this video, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Support your girl. Follow your girl on all social medias. That's at TikTok, at Salute Marie, and Instagram, at Salute Marie. And always make sure your post notification bells is always turned on. So, every time I post another video, y'all, what? <laughs> tune in and make sure i get y'all girl to 1k subscribers y'all i am trying i'm trying i'm trying get your girl to 1k subscribers y'all i'm almost there okay y'all push your girl a little bit more give me to 1k subscribers y'all until next time i'll see y'all later